disclaimer before this video begins, the audio is shit. I tried my best to not make it shit, but it is still shit, so, yeah. Hey all, so, as promised, is the video showing how to install the Meme Launcher 2.0 with voice included. So the first thing you're going to want to do is install the latest build of the launcher. So you can do this by going into the modding discord, which if you're not already in, you should, uh, you know, totally join. And uh, find this channel here, launcher releases. So inside of here you'll find all the releases of the launcher, and you'll want to come down to the bottom where the uh, latest will always be. Um, so you want to just find the nearest link and pop it open. Uh, you want to click here to make sure uh, you've got the latest build and then you want to go back to releases. And obviously you want to go scroll to the top to make sure that you have got the latest build. Click that. You want to download this, so click this. And now you just got to wait for this to download. Okay, so now that it's downloaded, uh, if you haven't got any zip software installed, this might look a bit weird to you. So you're probably going to want to grab something like WinRAR or 7-Zip. Um, you should download WinRAR because fuck 7-Zip. I'll leave a link in the description where you can grab that. Uh, and so now that you've got it, you just you want to drag it onto your desktop. You can minimize this or pause it, whatever, I don't give a shit. Uh, get this folder, you want to drag it onto your desktop. Close this out when it's done. Ignore that. Okay, and you can get rid of this, you don't need this anymore. So now you've got this folder right here, and that's it, that's that's literally all there is to it. Pop that open. Uh, you won't see this. You'll see all these, well, you don't need to go in here, so you just pop the, uh, the launcher open. Give it a second. And there you go, you've just installed the launcher, it's literally as easy as that. Okay, so when some of you open it, you might actually notice that you get this. Don't worry about it, it won't happen to everyone. Uh, some it might happen to, some it might not. It just means that the launcher can't actually find Gorn, or the .exe file for Gorn. So, to solve it, you just want to come over here. It might look a little different depending on what version you're on, but it's generally the same. Come over here, select Path. You want to find your installation. Mine's installed on my F drive. So then you want to select your Gorn.exe file. I had to remove the N on mine, or else I wouldn't get this screen. So then you just select it, like that, and because mine obviously is missing that, you just, well yours would obviously uh, be gorn.exe, and then you'll see a confirm button right here. It's, uh, that's how you solve that problem. Okay, so next you're probably wondering how to install mods, so you come over to the Discord server, you'll see all these here, uh, different categories of different stuff, and... You, uh, I'm going to install some gameplay mods because they're the easiest. Um, they're just kind of selected anyway, so so you just find the mod you want. Any of them will do, uh, as long as they're within uh, range. I put a warning message in each of the channels where the uh, mods above it are out of date, so I'll just install these two. Uh, same as before, you just drag them onto your desktop, minimize that up. Uh, you want to boot the launcher up. And once it's open, you can just go into your mods tab here. You'll see all your mods, and then you can install them one by one by just dragging them in like that. Or you can install them both at the same time by doing this. Dragging them in, hitting yes, and it'll refresh and they will be installed, as you can see. Okay, so you're probably wondering how you install themes or templates for if you're a scripting modder um, and it's actually quite simple it's pretty much the same as installing like regular mods you just kind of go over to uh, where you can download a zip file of it I'll download this one and I will grab where is it I'll go into themes and I'll grab the stonks theme because stonks and then same as mods drag one to your desktop minimize or close it I don't give a shit so this is your uh, template you just drag that into here yes there you go it's easy as that ignore that and for themes you go into your theme uh, page drag it in yes and there you go you've just installed stonks so if you're wondering how you actually 
my themes. You just go into your theme uh, page, click the theme, hit use, and the launch will restart, and the theme will be applied. Now, depending on what version you are and what version the theme is, uh, some things might be missing from the theme. So as you can see, it's booted up, and you'll know something's missing from the theme because it'll have this purple texture up here. So this theme is obviously missing some textures from the latest version, so it'll default to this uh, checkered texture. Um, but that's it, that's all there is to it. Please update this theme. So if you're wondering what else you can do with your installed content, there's a few buttons up here which do all sorts of things. This will actually enable all your mods, and this will disable them all. This will open your mods folder and this will refresh your mod list. This will just give you general information about your mods. You can select the mod uh, by hovering over it and clicking it. Uh, if you want to disable a mod manually, uh, you just click this and it'll toggle it. Uh, if you want to change the priority, you can actually right click or you can left click. Most people probably won't know that. Uh, so when you click the mod, you'll see a few little buttons here. This is the description of the mod, the author, the version and people that have contributed to help actually develop the mod. So if you want to get to this specific mods folder, you can go here and it will open it. If you want to delete the mod, you go here and delete it. And some mods will actually allow you to edit their settings files. So let me find one with that. Here for instance, you go over here, click this, and it will actually have setting, uh, settings you can edit. Uh, so you can toggle them and that will adjust it. If you want to reset them to uh, the default values, you just hit this, and or you can hit this down here. And if you want to cancel, you just come over here and cancel all that. And obviously if you want to apply the change, come down here, hit that, yep. And there you go. If you like the video, leave a like or whatever, I really don't give a shit. Just install the launcher or I'm gonna come and steal your kneecaps. And if you want anything else done, just let me know. I mean, my Discord is like literally littered everywhere, right here. And you can probably find it in the description of this video. So, yeah. Goodbye.